Hello everyone. In today's session, I shall discuss about the skill of introducing the lesson. If you remember, this is a part of micro teaching. The skill is very much important for every teacher because the day's lesson begins with introduction. Clear? So therefore, let us have a look at what the skill of intro, uh, introducing the lesson imply. Now, it is stating that the skill of introducing a lesson involves establishing rapport with the learner, promoting their attention and exposing them to essential contents. Now, three key points are being given here. It is establishing rapport with the learner, promoting their attention and exposing them to the essential contents. As you know, that may, uh, the main purpose of the day's lesson is what? Is that to bring about some behavioral changes in the learner to enable the student understand what the teacher intended to say. So, keeping this in view, the teacher has to create a favorable classroom setting. Clear? In this way, when a teacher enters the classroom and if he is able to promote the learning atmosphere, then definitely the attention and the interest level among the learners will be sustained. Alright? So, if he is if the teacher is able to promote the learning, create a favorable setting, then definitely the rapport is built up and the students are prepared and ready for the lesson. Not only this lesson, but the student will be expecting the teacher furthermore. Clear? So, in this way, while exposing the content, while introducing, while uh, you, you say, while uh, announcing the lesson or before announcing the lesson, the teacher has to create such an uh, in, uh, atmosphere wherein the learner will be prepared and motivated for the day's lesson. So, this involves establishing a rapport with the learners it is very important rapport building is very much important the each and every students should feel that they belong to the classroom they should feel that the teacher is giving equal attention to each one of them so as a teacher the teacher needs to take certain uh, things into account while introducing the lesson so let us have a look at it the first and foremost is using the previous knowledge of the learner uh, no, knowledge of the learner now in this case how the teacher can throw a question the teacher can refer to or elicit from what the pupils have learned in the previous classes the teacher can relate it with the current topic with that the pupil might be aware of. Teacher may create a situation in the class and then refer to the relevant knowledge. Clear? So by doing this, the, what the teacher is trying to do he is the teacher is trying to connect the previous knowledge to that of the recent topic so that the students feel at home clear again the other way that a teacher can adopt is by using appropriate instructional devices how let us see it can be through examples and not analogies similarities questioning narrating or illustrating storytelling role-playing 
or dramatization and then by experimenting and demonstration so these are some ways where uh, the learners can be made familiar to the present topic by relating to what they have already known or what they have already seen or what is being shown to them by the teacher clear so this is very much important so that the students don't feel uh, fish out of water so let us have a look at the components of introducing the lesson as you know attention securing is the first priority of the teacher so how do a teacher go about normally at the beginning of a lesson students are found not to be attentive and mentally prepared for learning they may be thinking something else too in such a situation the primary duty of a teacher is to create desirable learning atmosphere among the students so as i said storytelling demonstra uh, demonstration recitation all those can be adopted so preliminary attention gaining is one such component in introducing the lesson coming to the next is use of previous knowledge as i said earlier previous knowledge implies to those knowledge that student is already aware of and in this way the student will be feeling comfortable okay the students will feel comfortable enough to participate in the lesson so pre existing knowledge of the learner and that of new knowledge which the teacher is intending to you know place before the child should be referred to in this way an integration has been brought to what uh, uh, i repeat an integration has been brought about uh, between what they have known and what they will be knowing so it has been bridged clear coming to the next point is use of appropriate device so as i stated earlier the devices such as uh, audio visual aids all those as i already stated it can be made use of it while introducing the lesson in this way the learner will be motivated to learn to participate or maybe to question the teachers trying to know more about it so this is very much essential again link past learning or experience with that of the new topic so this uh, uh, i had already stated now this is also very important as you see when we linked up with the uh, with the past learning what the teacher has already taught as you see like when i spoke to you all about uh, today's session i linked up with stating that i have already stated about the skills in my previous session and that this skill is related to that of the micro teaching so in similarly the past learning 
should be connected to that of the new topic so this is the fourth component coming to the next component is assessing motivational level or arousing the motivation of the learner this is important because until and unless the learner is motivated the student will not be ready for taking the required information that the teacher intends huh, the teacher has intended to so motivation level is very much important if they are motivated then only they will be interested and will attend the lesson clear so that uh, therefore introducing uh, the lesson this is also another important component component that needs to be taken into account similarly specifying the points to be taken up for teaching this is a, another component now specifying the main points while introducing the lesson when the teacher is uh, trying to introduce uh, introduce the lesson the teacher can state that i will these are the key points that i will be discussing in the day's lesson so the the point should be relevant to the topic it should not be lengthy it should be sh short and specific there should be clarity in the pronunciation and delivery also it should be neat and legible for the students the learners to see okay so increase the level of inquisitiveness among the learners so everything will depend upon the teacher how the teacher introduces the lesson will depend upon how the learner is prepared for the day's lesson so the inqui inquisitiveness will only be aroused among the learner when they feel that the teacher has really created an environment uh, where the students are free to participate and uh, something new to learn where they will be able to uh, know more about uh, about uh, the the topic so that's very important okay so that's all for today uh, in my next lesson in session i shall speak about the skill of explaining okay i shall touch upon skill, uh, explaining and explaining with illustration so these two points i will cover in my next session so as of today what we have learned we have seen that skill of introducing being a part of micro teaching is very important there are various components that as a teacher one needs to take in, take take into account and when this skill is being developed the learner should be switched to the other skill for developing the that particular skill so skill of introducing the lesson is a very important skill for every teacher thank you